Caius World Radio is back. This is number 20. And uh, I am your host, PJ Boston, man. And we are doing it. We're kind of doing it live on the fly. And uh, I'm your host, PJ Boston. We normally do Metal Groove Radio, but once a month we transform. We slide down to the desert and we make it happen. And uh, tonight I've got my good friend, Mac Attack. Hi, Mac. How are you this evening, sir? Always good. Always good, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, last week I was a little under the weather, and uh, I must have asked you how how you were doing about 15 times because I couldn't remember how to do my radio show. <laughs> uh, so, but it's all good, though. We uh, we got a big show planned. I, I got some um, I got some Fatso Jetson versus Hi-Fi Club just kind of playing in the background while we do our thing. Um, but you know us. We are broadcasting from the nasty, filthy, shadowy subculture that they call the South of Market Street in San Francisco, California. We're at FCCFreeRadio.com. We're in the legendary Studio 1A. And frankly, I was yeah. in here last night. Some friends of mine were doing a show, uh, the Dub Plate Sound System and the, the Living in the Gray Area show. Man, it was a party, dude. They had cool bottles of rum. and Kraken. They, they smoked a whole bottle of Kraken. And then they got some... What's the other brand? This is like a brand of... Uh, yeah, I got to remember. It shows you how good it was. And then I ended up at Joe's, and it was all good. But listen, uh, I'm your host, PJ Boston. Mac is here. Foes couldn't make it tonight. Um, and it's all good. We uh, normally do this last week, but we are doing a little bit of a um, preview for next week's big badass show. I got to get my paperwork here. What's going on, man? It's the heavy, psychedelic rock and roll happening next week. It's the Generator and Rolling Heavy Van Show, and then they got the big, badass, out-of-control, stoned and dusted generator party where they're camping and everything. You were saying, oh, man, it's like Burning Man, but for cool people. You know what I'm exactly. saying? Exactly. Yeah, no, so it's going to be amazing. Uh, we are going to talk to one of the most legendary artists that ever came out of the desert, Santa Cruz, wherever you want to call it. We're going to talk to Dave Dinsmore. Dave is... Frankly, one of the nicest guys I've spoke to before the show. Like, I'm talking to him, and we're kind of setting things up this week. And if there's one word I'd say to Dave or about Dave, he's a regular cat, man. He's just like, yeah, we're doing this. It's awesome. It's, it's good. He's just happy about it all. But um, Dave Dinsmore has been in incredible bands. He was in Che. He was in Unita. Uh, he's in the Low Desert Punk Band. Uh, we saw him at Slim's with Corrosion and Mothership and, and those guys. When uh, Brandport Bjork showed up uh, there back in 2015, it was one of the greatest shows I've ever seen in my life. Um, so Dave's amazing. He's a heavy hitter, and he's just got this pedigree because he goes way back. He hasn't stopped, and uh, hopefully, finally now, you know things are working out good. Uh, you know, um, they seem to be doing a lot of shows. It's all good. So we're gonna get into that. Uh, we're gonna play his playlist. He brought me amazing tracks. We have two tracks that probably no one's ever even heard before. So we're going to continue on with some uh, biker number two.
I'm thirsty. I want a beer. What about you? You want a beer? Caius World <laughs> Radio is back and uh, dropping bombs. Yeah, Mac Attack. That was awesome, right? Dude. We're going to do Worldwide Live with Isaac soon. It's coming. Cool. But um, right now, I don't even want to mess around. 
Oh shit! I got What's I got going all on? kind. Of, yeah, I got problems with my. Uh, Ain't nothing wrong with some feedback. Yeah, a little feedback on my you media know? player. All no. right. No, I normally don't go totally silent like this, but right now we're joined by someone that I have mad respect for, and uh, I'm just I'm an old cat, man. I I get around, and I've been here doing it for a long time, and anytime I see someone who's just been grinding it out like this, it just makes me crazy. So, without further ado, I'm joined by the bass player for the Low Desert Punk Band, Dave Dismore. Dave. Are you there, my friend? Yeah, man. What's going on, Pete? How you doing? I'm good. I got my friend iMac with me. Uh, iMac Dave, Dave iMac. Here we go. Hi. How are yeah. you doing, man? Good. Always good. Yeah, we're cruising. Uh, now, Dave, uh, we just got done playing um, Drive Rod, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, by yeah. Lab. I mean, um, yeah. we're going to... You know what? We're going to talk about <laughs> Lab in a second. But, I mean, that's one of the many projects you've been in for a long time. But I'm going to yeah. start out by just asking you, what is up in the world of Dave Dinsmore? What's going on? Just just rocking out, Frank York and the boys, Bubba and, and Ryan, and uh, just having a good time, man. Now, you guys uh, are right. you guys are down in Joshua Tree, right? Yeah, we're uh, going to rehearse for a week and then hit those desert shows, and we're, we're going on tour after that for the U.S. Well, well, that's what I wanted to ask about. Now, these two desert shows that are coming up, um, for the big weekend, uh, it's the the rolling heavy um, van show and, and the yeah. stone and dusted thing. Now yeah. that that's kind of like the kickoff to your tour, right? You're going to do that. Yep, we do those two, and then we take off for about three weeks, and then uh, come home for about a day and a half after our last show in LA on May first, and then go to Australia and New Zealand. So that's the plan. So the so the desert yeah. weekend is going to be the kickoff for the North American tour, and then you're going to be home yeah. for a day or so, and then boom, you're going to head to Australia. Yeah, man, that's that sounds like a pretty good life. It's pretty pretty busy though, huh? Yeah, pretty busy. It's going to be fun though. I bet. Now, you know, I I was gonna I had some questions in the bag. I was like, ah, what am I going to ask him? Let me ask you this though: When was the last time you had a regular day job, like a uh, you know you had to go to a nine to five type job? Um, I still am a painting contractor. No kidding. Wow. <laughs> no, but you, that's what they all tell. Even the most successful cats from the desert, they tell me that they have to still do a little bit of a, of a day job, but you can get yeah. the t- you can get the time off to do all the tours and stuff. Yeah. So it's, it's my own business. Oh, well, <laughs> so the- <laughs> I can take off anytime I want. I just get jobs when I want. It's, it's all good. Yeah. Oh man. That's a so, smooth, yeah. that's a smooth setup. Now, uh, people, you know, you might not be the highest profile dude. Like Dave Dinsmore, right? But uh, yeah. but I mean, you've done a lot of amazing stuff. We're going to get into um, some of the bands you've been in, some of the projects you've been involved in. But now, uh, a lot of people think you grew up in the desert, but you grew up in Santa Cruz, or where'd you grow up? Yeah, Santa Cruz. So you were yeah. so you were in like school in Santa Cruz. You were a kid in Santa Cruz. Yep. Yeah. And, yeah. and uh, when was it that you moved down to the desert? Oh man, must have been like ninety eight or sometime, and. Just came down to visit, and then ended up camp. You know, talked to John Garcia and just jumped in a band. <laughs> well, <laughs> is, so is that how you ended up in Unita at the beginning? Yeah, yeah, just just hanging out in a bar, and then John came up and we talked, and then went for it. Wow. Yeah. Now, had you been back and forth to the desert a lot, or or I mean, how how'd you end up down there? Uh, I don't know. I just went. To, I had been there before and knew Mario Lolly and stuff, and just. Just want to head out somewhere. Just get out of Santa Cruz, you know. Right. Just move, uh, move around. Didn't really know where I was going, but just wanted to go there and figure it out, and I did. So, now, now good. back then was Mario still running Rhythm and Brews back in '98? Yeah. Like, uh, so yeah, you, we played. We played that club. We played there, and uh, with Gardenia played. I think. Yeah. It's crazy. Wow. I have a. I have, <laughs> actually have a Gardenia track in my in this computer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's awesome. So. So now you grew up in Santa Cruz, and uh, your brother Cliff was uh, the front man and the founder of Blast, right? Yeah, yeah. Now, now tell me, um, what role did Cliff play in like the path that you followed? Like, was he uh, influential as far as the way you uh, decided to go about everything? Yeah, in a way, he was always into the music before me, you know, and punk rock. Kind of followed in his steps, and met a lot of good people through him. And then uh, I don't know what made me want to start playing bass. I think seeing Chuck Dukowski as a kid pretty much turned it on for me. And uh, didn't start till later, but uh, 
Yeah, my brother definitely had uh, helped me out a lot, hearing a lot of music and stuff, yeah. Now, you mentioned Chuck. Who else made you pick up the bass? And, like, was that the is that the only instrument you play? Uh, pretty much, yeah. Wow. I'm going to play a little bit of stuff, but pretty much that, yeah. What bass players do you, like, admire and and respect right now? Uh, Geezer, always. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Nick Alvary. Um, yeah, there's so many. I don't know. Tons of them. But they all help out. So let me ask you, uh, how I do this to everybody who comes on. I put them on the spot. I want to know about their rig. I want to know, first off, how you get such a smooth sound and how it goes so well with the Low Desert Punk Band. I saw you guys um, not too long ago with Corrosion on the tour, and you and I talked mm-hmm. off. The, you and I talked off the air. You said that was like the greatest tour ever. You guys had so much fun. But yeah. but what are you, what are you using on stage to make it sound so good? Because it's amazing. Uh, that's just a smaller cabinet, 215 amp I got. It's a nice shallow cabinet, and I'm um, using a acoustic pad. And that's pretty much it. Yeah, and the fender and that cabinet's really key. Yeah, you sounded you guys sounded incredible when we saw you. Like uh cool. yeah, it was super smooth and, and uh the whole band. Um talk about Bubba. Like uh mm. how, how's it how's it like playing with him? Because he's super tight when I watched him. It's awesome. He's amazing. Well you're it's uh yeah, it changed my life as a bass player just playing with him and Brant. And uh yeah, he's he's incredible. Yeah, he uh when we saw him the night uh that I was at the club, he was killing it. Like I was blown away by how perfect everything was. You guys had a, uh, were on like a different level. Uh Now oh. Now you mentioned Brant. Uh when did you first meet Brant? Um we met them Tyus played Santa Cruz years ago, way way back and kind of met him real quick and then um we had played, we had come to the desert and played with Lab or Blackout or something, and then we came through his lab, and he came to a show, and we hung out, and he was blown away, so we went to the next show, him and Jesse from Eagles, uh, the next night at the Velvet, it's the old guys on San Diego, and uh, yeah, we just started hanging out, and then he actually said, I have to be in this band, so he joined the band for a while. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Cause just for a little bit, he just did a little run to Santa Cruz and moved there for a while. And played in Lab and then split. You know, it's pretty cool. That's crazy. Now, now Lab uh, Lab came about when uh, Blast initially went their separate ways, right? You guys became mm-hmm. Blackout, then you became Lab. Whatever happened to 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 the plan with Lab? Um, I don't know. It just kind of faded out. You know, kind of did its thing, and it's too bad. That was a really that was fun. That was fun stuff, but uh. Yeah, now that I listen to it again, it's been a while. And I, I miss it for sure. Well, I'm listening to the to the Drive Rod, and that track is amazing. You also sent me a track called "Don't Bleed" from Gusto. Mm-hmm. Uh, what can you tell mm-hmm. me about Gusto? Uh, Gusto is the thing with Mike from Lab, Mike Nider, and Alfredo Hernandez, and then uh, we just kind of got together for a while and did some songs, played a few shows. Pretty fun. Yeah, man, you. You're just dropping names like you played with John and Brant and Alfredo and Mike and Arthur from Unita and all these different mm-hmm. people. Uh, mm-hmm. Dude, are you serious? <laughs> like, do you look? Do you ever look? Do you ever look back and trip off the whole thing? Uh, I don't know a little bit. I think it just you know you're asking about my influence from music. My uncle helped me out a lot as a kid. I saw a lot of bands as a kid, and I. I think it, it didn't really kick until later that I want to play music, but I always dug it so much. And then I don't know even how I started playing bass. Maybe Chuck, like when I saw him, maybe it just lit a fire, you know. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I trip a little bit, but it's sure been fucking fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's sure. ama- yeah, it's amazing the the path you've taken and all the different you know records and stuff. I want to go back a little bit um, to when you were first starting to record. What was the first time you recorded? And you really thought, you know, you and I were talking uh, off the air earlier today. You were telling me about when you guys recorded um, some of the blast stuff and 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 some of the um, the lab stuff. When uh, was it? When you guys did coping with Urban Coyote, were you in a real studio and you were, you know, really recording? Like, what do you remember about the first time you hit a real studio? Oh man, that was back in the blast days, I guess. 
um, where was that? Like at uh, up in Oakland. Wow. I think. Okay, that would and make it sense. Was like, right. I had no idea how to record. I just went forward and uh, yeah, it's a trip and you hear that stuff now. <laughs> it's pretty funny actually. But uh, that was like after my brother, I guess, left. I don't know. It was weird. It was a long time ago. Wow. But it definitely was kind of hard, you know, at first. Yeah, I bet. Uh, I always talk to the guys when they, uh, the guys who were on the, um, like, Blues for the Red Sun, and I ask them what it was like in Sound City and all that, and they're just like, yeah, it was like we, we didn't know what to think. <laughs> you know, it's like, so you're young yeah. and it's new and everything. Now, yeah. uh, Tower of the Devil and Black Flower Power, were they both recorded at Brant's studio where he's at? Uh, the one recorded here at, at the studio, and yeah, both of them were, yeah. Wow. And uh, any differences between the recording process for either one of those, or you guys are just rolling now? Uh, Pretty close, pretty similar, I guess, yeah. yeah. A little okay. different songs, you know, a little style, but uh, pretty close, yeah. Awesome. So your big next thing is this uh, show going on uh, this weekend with um, the actual like generator party. I mean, that's what they're trying to do, right? <laughs> they're trying to. Yeah, that, re- that's going to be insane. Yeah, I mean, what are you thinking about that? Did you ever make it to any of the old school generator parties? Um, God, did I, no, I didn't make it to the old old school ones. Um, no, not really. Just parties and stuff, but never, never the cool way out in the middle of the desert ones. Yeah. Well, well so this is like a f- first time for you too. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's, it's crazy. It's like to see Nick playing and Yawning Man. It's just going to be insane. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that's going to be crazy. We just saw Yawning Man actually at Slim's, uh, or no, at Bottom of the Hill, um, yeah. like a couple weeks ago. And, I mean, Mario's crew and Dino were amazing. Gary was amazing. It was uh, yeah. crazy. And I just tried to get my tickets tonight. I'm going to see you guys at Slim's uh, when you guys come back through um, on the 10th. I don't want to miss that nice. through San Francisco. So. But that's yeah. uh, that's like the beginning of the tour. Now, this North American tour you're doing, are you guys going, you know, all the way from coast to coast? Yeah, coast to coast. Uh, back, we're going up to Vancouver, and then we go cut across through Utah, Chicago, you know, wow. East Coast. Well, and Tim, then uh, you're doing come it. back through Tech this time. Well, you're so. doing it. You're doing it, man. You're killing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, listen, uh, listen uh, I don't want to keep you all night. I've uh, I've gotten way more out of you than I was hoping I <laughs> hoping to get. But yeah. let me ask you a question though. Um, earlier today, I asked you for a set list, and you hooked me up with a bunch of songs and stuff. And one song I was going to play was Green Machine, and uh, you told me you wanted to dedicate that to Brant. What are you thinking about? Yeah, that? I just want to dedicate to him and tell him thanks for making this place a better place and all the rad riffs. <laughs> well, we're going to play that for you. Okay. Yeah, he. He's a. When I met him, he was super cool to me. And um, later on the show, we're going to talk to Nathan from Kai's World. Now you've had a little uh, relationship with Nathan, right? You guys go back and forth a little bit. Yeah, yeah, a little yeah. bit. He's, he's a cool dude. Seems like, and he's coming out to the generator, right? Generator. Party. Yeah, he he's going to make it out there, and that's uh, yeah. that's kind of crazy because the guy who runs the Kai's World is in Wisconsin, but he's gonna yeah. he's gonna make it out there. Well, Dave, I, all I can do is say thank you for all your time and, and, and uh, trying to be part of the show. Thank you very much, man. Uh, but, um, PJ, thanks for having me on, man. No problem. You you have anything else you have going on, or or, uh, or should I just play some Green Machine? Just play some Green Machine, man. Let's hit it. Hey, Dave, I want to say thank you very much. Dave Dinsmore, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Mac. How was that? <laughs> Fucking badass. That's super badass. <laughs> all right. Hey, Dave, I will talk yeah. to you uh, after, but I'm going to play some uh, Green Machine. You ready? Right on, guys. All right, brother. Later, thank, you. thank you. Thank you. Bye.
Dave Dinsmore just pretty much fucking killed Kai's World Radio, man. Thank you, Dave. That interview was amazing. You just blew my mind.
stems, no seeds that you don't need. Acapulco Gold is... Bad as we...
Caius World Radio. Caius World Radio, number 20. Little Rolling Stones, man. That was part of uh, Dave Dinsmore's set list that he gave me, his playlist. He wanted to hear some stuff. Mac Attack, man. Uh, did you get that Wi-Fi working? What's going on over there? Uh, nope. It's we're, we're totally cut off. We're, yeah, no, they shut us yeah. off. All right. We had, they knew we were doing our thing too much. Can't stop us. Yeah, no, I had I had to uh, mess with the levels because of the uh, the phone call and all that stuff. But that was the Rolling Stones. We're gonna do our station identification. We always do. Dude, uh, real quick, I have Rolling Stones tequila. We got oh, a drink. Man. It's uh, with you. No, it's at my house. Uh, all right, it's we'll a Rolling Stones tour pick tequila. We'll stop like, there on the way like home. Family Reserve, good ash. Like it's the bottle has the tongue and everything. That's what I'm talking yeah, about. We're, we're gonna right. drink it. It's got a little worm in the bottom. Nope, it's tequila. Not mezcal. Yep, yep, exactly. All right. Well, you know me. I know how that goes. So listen, uh, I just got some uh, communication back. We're going to get a little bit more Dave Dinsmore go- coming on, and Nathan's going to yep. be on. Yeah, hour number two is going to be as exciting as hour number one. So let's just do this thing, uh, Kai's World Radio, yo. Free radio with you anywhere. Just pull out your smartphone. We're on TuneIn Radio and Stitcher apps. Go to your app store, download the free app, and search for FCC Free. Don't just listen to music, experience it. Wells Audio manufactures and sells a full range of home audio equipment to take your system to the next level. And it's all built right here in the U.S. of A. Find out more at www.wellsaudio.com. Mention FCC Free Radio and receive 10% off of your purchase. Wells Audio. Listen with your heart. The Little Black Egg. A great choice for your screen printing needs in the Bay Area. The Little Black Egg has experience and know-how when it comes to putting ink on garments. From t-shirts to tote bags, hoodies to hats, and everything in between. Competitive pricing, low minimums, and no maximums. San Francisco-based Little Black Egg can work with individuals and businesses and can get the garment and brand you want. Need screen printing? Find us on Facebook, Twitter, or through our website, thelittleblackegg.com. You are listening to FCC Free Radio, San Francisco's number one internet radio station. Make sure to tune in to the Cool Lounge, Sundays at 6 p.m. in Studio 2B, only on FCC Free Radio. Hey, this is Cody from Big Business, and you're listening to Kaya's World Radio. Whoa!
I'm just saying, Mad Mom's a pimp, yo. This is Mark from Doors to Nowhere, and you're listening to Caius World Radio.
right here. Che with the sounds of liberation on Kai's World Radio. Man, we're just, uh, <laughs> we're having quite an evening. You know what we're going to do now, Mac? What's up? We are going to do the thing where we bring our good friend back. Um, let me see if I can figure this out. I got a little hi fi club. Going this in the is background. crazy. It's crazy, right? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, one of the greatest talents in the desert rock music genre in history. Dave Dinsmore. Dave, can, hey, you, up, man? can you hear me? Is it crackling and fuzzy, or is it working better? Or is it on my end? Uh, it's working pretty good right now. All right. Well, <laughs> I appreciate that. We uh, we could totally have technical difficulties, so you could totally blame I, it I, on us if you want. I have, I have it every day. <laughs> hey, so we played a little Che right there, Sounds of Liberation, man. What do you remember about recording that record? Oh, man. That was a trip. That was, We... Uh, uh, Fredo was just out of uh, Queens, and I was out of Unita, and Brant was kind of, he was still in Chew, but kind of winding down on what they were doing, but, uh, and we just decided to jam out, and uh, in the house, uh, me and Brant lived together, and so Fredo came over, and Brant had these, like, riffs, and it just kind of went down, like, pretty crazy in the house, and then uh, did a recording at the house, and it didn't turn out too good, so we went to uh, Schneeby studio in, in uh, Silver Lake and he uh, said, you guys should just do this over right now. You know, we were trying to mix it down. He's like, dude, just do it over. So we fucking did it, called everybody and got everybody out there and we dropped it that night. Like, it, it sounds, crazy. it sounds huge. It sounds awesome. The recording of that is great. Yeah. Wow. There's some work on it here and there, but we kind of left them, you know, for that. Cause it was just that kind of thing, you know, just to Groovy just like drop that. it down and go and, pretty fun that was a fun night that's awesome so uh so we got you back on we we um we wanted to get some shout outs i i know you got a lot of people you want to thank so so what are you thinking well just like the blast dudes the original blast dudes bill torgerson dave cooper and steve stevenson and mike of course and uh arthur and mike you need a john just didn't get to say much about those guys but there's that was a fun time well, now the the yeah. Santa Cruz cats you mentioned, that's a tight community over there. Like I mentioned, Mark Lewis and, and Peter and Sean yeah. from uh, from Doors to Nowhere, yeah. but yeah. Uh, it seems like everybody there gets along really well. They all have little margarita mating, or no, uh, it's uh, not margarita. <laughs> it's a Bloody Mary making <laughs> competition. <laughs> but those guys are yeah. all they're all still uh, good friends, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Maybe. awesome. You know, I just I just failed for a while. Uh, hey. Had nope. to get out, but nope. uh, that was my issue, you know. Now, uh, I normally have my resident desert expert here, my my friend Foes. He's not here tonight. Uh, but now, where are you exactly? I know you're at Joshua, Joshua Tree now, but where do you stay at down there? Are you in Indio? Are you in Conchella? You in, where are you at? Uh, Joshua, that's what I'm staying. Uh, yeah. is, and that's where you stay usually? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Now, we, we, we talked to all these cats. I was running into, I ran into Mario a couple weeks ago at Bottom of the Hill. And he was yeah. telling me how he lives in Indio, and he he was laying it all out. They knew the, they knew the taco joints and the chicken joints, and <laughs> they, they knew oh, all yeah. that. Oh. He used to take me all that stuff. Those guys did, yeah, yeah. That was that was some good times with those guys down there, man. And Mario had his hearse, and yeah, that was crazy. <laughs> I mean, cruise the desert in a hearse, purple hearse. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, I've been hearing a lot of people uh, like on Facebook, you know, like social media. They're talking about. How uh, this desert generator party you guys are going to have going on is um, like the party that Fu Manchu's always always been looking for. What do you think of those guys playing at this show? Like, as far as like, uh, is that really the party they've been looking for? Is that the the vans and, I, the, and all that? I think so. I think it's it's going to be fucking killer. Those yeah. guys playing. I think they're going to be stoked. We're going to be stoked. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a fun night, man. And they're playing some shows right now. They're going to be all warmed up and ready to go. So be a fun night yeah i'm excited I, I hope there's a lot of amazing footage i can't get down there it's tax tax time for me and, uh-huh. and uh, my my schedule did not permit but man i'm okay. i'm kicking myself in the ass imac looked at me during uh, one of those tracks we were playing and he said he said do you think they're going to do it next year and i said well it depends on if anyone dies this year <laughs> so well yeah that's what it comes down to right, right the trial run exactly all right last year last year went very pretty smooth i think but uh yeah, hopefully it, it keeps going smooth. Now, did they have an actual generator party last year, or not? Not quite a whole. <laughs> no, 
I mean, it was just you know, Captain Harry, but it was awesome. It was so fun. Yeah, no, this like, is gonna be this is gonna be good though. That's that's the for band sure. show is amazing. Yeah, so yeah. Well, listen, Dave. Congratulations on making a, a, a lifelong commitment to being an incredible musician and doing all that. I'm I'm just stoked you came on our show with us now. Uh, but a lifelong commitment. Uh, I'm about to play Dave's War. Tell me about that, man. Uh-huh. What? What? Because you, you well, well, you said Sean Wheeler also sings Dave's War. He also sings Biker Number Two, right? And he's going to be yeah. at the gig next week. Yeah, man. He's he's been cruising with us on tour, and it's just uh. Oh man, he's just a uplifting dude, you know. Just awesome to have the board. It's so fun. He's a great guy. Well, that's awesome. And so, it, so he's going to sing those tracks at the show next, this coming up weekend. Yeah, he's going to sing a couple. Yeah, so it's pretty special. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah. if uh, if you're in the middle of Dave's war, are you winning? <laughs> are, you, <laughs> are you winning Dave's war? I don't know yet. <laughs> at least you're fighting it, yet. though. <laughs> Yeah, I'm fighting it, but uh, I think I'm getting closer. <laughs> right, well, I'm going to play Dave's War. So, but I mean, uh, what's this song really about? What's this? This is a nine minute long plus track. I mean, what's Dave's oh, wow. War about? Yeah, uh, just about arriving to a point that's pretty special, you know, with uh, this band. I think uh, a lot of these songs, these new songs, really, really. Uh, I don't know. There's just something to these songs. It's just really great, you know. Really, uh, the feeling behind them, like Bubba just riding bike or two, just you know, ripping that out. It's just ridiculous. So a lot goes. I don't know. It's really cool. Well, it's amazing you guys are hitting on all cylinders right now. <laughs> and uh, congrat- congratulations. Good luck next weekend. And uh, okay. Caius World Radio is about to rip Dave's War. You ready for this? Yeah, man. Thanks a lot, you guys. Dave Dinsmore. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it.
man, Dave's War. I like the way Dave's War is playing out, yo.
That does it. I'm getting a computer.
Bias World Radio number 20. Hanging with our man, Dave Dinsmore. Mac Attack, how crazy was that, right? Dude. Yeah. No. We're locked and loaded. Yeah, I'm with you. We, um, we had quite a time. That was awesome. So now, as we kind of wind down and chill, watch this. You ready for this? Nathan! We're going to be joined right now <laughs> by one of the greatest people I've ever met. Nathan Lover from Kai's World. Nathan, good evening, sir. Good evening. How you doing, brother? Doing great. Doing great, bro. That's a good interview, man. Dave was... Uh, He's it, pretty it, chill cat. I'll tell you, it's tough to interview a guy who's had so many bands. It's like, you can't you can't say, hey, what about this band? What about this record? Like it, They're like, yeah, well, I was on all these records and all these bands. So. <laughs> You'd go on for hours. Yeah. No, he was... Chronicle that career. But I want to thank him for being so uh, upfront and being cool with everybody. And it's just another one of those nice guys that we keep running into. It's yeah. crazy. He's like they're all the way down in the desert, man. You know, it was too chill to be uptight and have an attitude. Yeah, no, it's good. But, Nathan, you're like T minus five minutes from descending on the desert for the first time ever. So lay this out for me, man. When do you leave, uh, when do you leave the, the chilly confines of Wisconsin and head to the desert? Not soon enough. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow? No, it's, no, it's uh, I'm leaving Thursday morning really early, like 6.30. And, and uh, uh, how are you getting down there? We're flying down. I'm meeting up with a Kais World member from Illinois, and he's driving up. We're flying out of Milwaukee you know, at uh, 6.30. We're going to be in the desert by like 10 o'clock. Wow, so you guys are actually flying out and you're going to land right in uh, Palm Springs. Right in Palm Springs. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Dude, I'm, I'm I'm like hoping it's all what it cracked up to be, man. This is like the big deal. <laughs> Dude, I, I have no doubt in my mind it's going to be an amazing weekend. All right, so what's your plan, though? You're going to land there Thursday. Uh, you're gonna lay I low. Thursday. Yeah, well, well, you're gonna you're gonna lay low. You're gonna head to the sign. You're gonna go to Pappy and Harrods. Where are you gonna go? Uh, we're gonna meet up with the Australian connection, Jay Morgan. Uh, Jay Morgan and Chris Keys are flying in from Australia on Wednesday. Wow! So we're gonna meet up with them at the hood and get some pizza and have dinner on Thursday night. And I might even be tattooed by. Uh, Clint Cunningham, who was the original bass player for Brave Black Sea. Wow. So I'm trying to work that out with him for Thursday, and that's just one day. Wow. Know? Yeah, no, you got your, your weekend ahead of you. Um, yeah. I mean, do you have any sort of thoughts for the uh, the big generator party out, the stone and dusted? Um, I mean, what do you, anything... You're anticipating anything you... I mean, did you bring, like, an M80 and you're going to throw it on stage? Like, you got a plan? What are you going to do? No, there were rules you can't bring any... Uh, any explosives? explosives All right. Fire alarms. <laughs> firearms. But uh, I fully expect from my mind to be blown every day of this weekend. And uh, Friday night is absolutely going to be my favorite show that I've ever attended. I'm, I'll just say that right now. Because yeah. Because... Yawning Man and Brant Bjork and Nick Oliveri's playing now, and then Fu Manchu. Yeah, I mean, really, all in one night? Are you kidding me? We just saw Yawning Man. They were, and that's not it either. Truly incredible. Yeah, yeah, that's then, not it either. After after that, after the generator party, which ends at like eight thirty, um, John Garcia is playing an acoustic show at Palm Canyon Roadhouse. Yeah. So, so gonna, that's just that's Friday night. <laughs> yeah, and then you gotta you gotta dig in, and, and you, when do you come home to uh, Wisconsin? Monday or Tuesday? Monday. Wow. Yeah. Damn. Then you gotta you gotta try to control your enthusiasm. <laughs> it's nuts, man. And then Saturday the the van show and the whole thing of Happy and Harriet. Yeah. Which is gonna be amazing. There's there's a bunch of Canadians driving down in vans right now. You know Robertson, the Summer Rock guy. Well, I was just and gonna. His crew are coming down from Canada. Yeah, I was gonna shout out to Dino and, and his crew and everybody who's dealing with this. Man, it's amazing. Yeah, and then Sunday 
at 1 p.m. If everyone's still alive and not still too long in one over, piece, we're gonna meet. We're gonna meet out at the Sky Valley sign for a group photo. Cash World members and uh, preliminary estimates are probably about 20, 30 people. Hashtag world record. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right. Well, Nathan, uh, check this out. We have done such a bang up job with this show that we have like two minutes left. <laughs> so I gotta, uh, <laughs> I gotta bail on you. But you, that's my fine. friend. The next time I talk to you, you will have incredible stories to tell. Hopefully some pictures of some new tattoos. Nathan's going. May the force yeah. be with you, Nathan. Na- Na- Thank exactly. You. Thank you, I'm Hey, cool. Nathan, um, we love you a million times, man. Thanks for always hooking us up. We did 20 of these things so far, and they've all been individual. They've all been unique. They've all been amazing. Thank you. It has been amazing, man. Thank, thank you. No problem. Now, uh, you be safe. And we were going to talk to you oh, very. Yeah. We're going to talk to you very soon after this, <laughs> after this weekend. Okay. Yeah. I'm All right. Calling you on Sunday. Long live Caius World. By the way, I saw uh, the Instagram. Like, uh, is that eleven thousand we got now? Thirteen. Thirteen thousand. Yeah, my, my math yep. is terrible. All right, brother, <laughs> you fly safe, and I'll talk to you soon. Will do. Take it easy, fellas. Good night, guy. Later. World Radio <laughs> came down the stretch that fast. Just one of those things. Um, Nathan Lover, chairman of the board, nicest guy ever. He's going to have a blast next week. Jamie Lee Wood, Kara, Miguel the LDP, Scott Reeder, Mario Lolly, Chris Hale, Mike Encino, Arthur C., Joe Mora, Mike Pigmy, Greg Signs, Dylan Brown, Mark Lewis, Peter Testorf, Sean from Dorson Nowhere, Antho. Sean and Marwan from Jack Shaft, Lou up in Paradise, Dave Dinsmore, Dave freaking Dinsmore. This might be one of my favorite shows, man. Dave's the real thing. He's such an incredible guy. I love Dave. Listen, Caius World Radio loves everybody, and I promise you.